Hey, hey, Lewis here about that RV life. Today, we're going to talk about three things that you're going to need to do with your RV to get it set up properly. But stick around to the end. I got one bonus tip that's going to help you double your RV rental business income. All right, so if you're with us last week, I created this video right here RV Rental Business School Session 1. And today we're going to do session two as a follow-up of the last video that I just made. So if you haven't seen the first video, I'd go back and take a look at it. Make sure you watch it thoroughly because we're going to follow up on some of the items that we talked about in the last video. All right, so now let's recap what we talked about last week. We talked about talking to your wife or your spouse, making sure that you guys are both on the same page. Number two, we started talking about making sure that your business is set up properly with a proper LLC. Number three, we talked about getting a business checking account so you can take advantage of the tax advantages that this business has to offer. Four, we talked about getting your website set up, whatever that is, and getting it set up properly. And number five, we talked about the platforms that we use to get our profile set up. And today we're gonna to start by talking about what that platform looks like. So number one, the first thing you wanna do is get your profile set up. All right, so you got your profile set up, right? You got your RV set up there. You wanna start thinking about what you're gonna provide and what you're gonna put in the description. We talked a little bit about that last week. What are you going to provide for your renters and the customers that are actually going to re-rent your RV? So there's a, a few things here that I'm going to talk about. Towels, there's linens, chairs, napkins, silverware, blankets, TVs, RV use only toilet paper. And lastly, one of the major things is a generator. Are you going to provide these things? The other thing you're going to want to think about is, are you going to deliver? It's a big deal. You know, there's some people that have profiles set up that they only have pickup only. Some of them offer delivery. We offer both. So for you, you're gonna have to figure out what that looks like and, and how to navigate that. And you're gonna wanna be very detailed in your description because the last thing you want to do is have a renter looking at your profile, reading everything that you provide and it either not being there or there's something that you're missing and that they're having to ask you questions. It just definitely saves you a lot of time. It saves your renter a ton of time. And when it comes to that delivery fee, you gotta really think about like, how far do you wanna go, right? So just give you kind of our example and you can look at other profiles that are out there we've got a minimum delivery fee of up, up to 125 bucks depending on the price of the, the the diesel that day so now after you've considered like what you're actually going to be providing for your customers you've got it uploaded into the description your profile is kind of set up what you're going to want to do next is start looking at taking good quality pictures and what does that look like you know a lot of times you want to use the 4k high quality 1080p whatever that looks like cinematic view if you've got the iPhone there's a lot of cameras and phones these days that actually have very very good high quality um, pictures that you can take and what I would encourage you to do is take really good clear pretty well lit pictures okay so what I want to do is show you one example of one of our units this is a 2020 gray wolf it's a 26 foot but as you can see here we got some we got a lot of lighting going on here really well lit and you've got some good quality we took this with my iPhone I think it was a 13 Pro Max at the time but as you can see it gives the the renter an idea of what the inside of the unit looks like what the bathroom looks like um, you know what what the beds look like you know certain things like that um, how the beds made what the um, what kind of linens you're gonna provide you know certain things like that um, for your your renters so this one here I really like this is one that was taken um, of kind of a, a long view of what what it looks like it just honestly it makes the, the RV look a little bit bigger so you're gonna want to consider that when you're taking your pictures just making sure that a lot of these are really good good quality quality pictures so another tip while you're on those websites is you're gonna to want to take a look at what some of your competitors are doing. Now, what are they charging per unit, right? If you're in a general area where there's a lot of camping, a lot of stuff going on for us, it happens to be the gorge and there's a lot of concerts that are happening. I wanna make sure that I'm pretty competitive. So I'll get on the profile or I'll get on the website and the platforms and just make sure that I'm real competitive in the, in the marketplace, that I'm kind of putting myself a, a cut above what other people are doing. Um, and it could be as simple as adding an extra roll of toilet paper, certain things like that that are going to really kind of set yourself set yourselves apart. But I would study what other people are doing and just kind of go off of um, what's going on in your area. Another thing that I did is I, I took a look at some of the actual RV 
uh, rental businesses that have been established for a while. There's a gentleman in, in the area here. He's been around for 10 plus years. He's got 50 units. I took a look at his website and just kind of what he had to offer and stuff like that. And I learned from that. I learned what he took pictures of. I learned what he provided, certain things like that. And um, also in some of the uh, description, I made sure that people understood you know, what to expect in my unit. That was another thing that I saw from his website is he was very clear on some of the rules and certain things that um, you want to make sure that you cover with your renters so they fully fully understand alright so let's do a quick recap so you've got your profile set up you got your description real detailed and dialed you've got your pictures and 4k quality you can even add a video if you wanted to which we have uh, but you can put a video on those profiles now let's talk about marketing all right, let's get into marketing. So some of you know that I created this video that I did pretty well. It's how to market your RV rental business. And in that, I talked about a lot of the certain things that we did our first year to get our business started right and the marketing that we did behind kind of establishing some of our renters and building off of that. First thing we did is we utilized all the free platforms, right? There's a ton of free social media platforms. You know, you can start a Facebook business page. We started a group page that basically is just all information about life, about that RV life, certain things like that, where we allow other people to come in and join and post certain things that they're learning and stuff like that. We're also a part of other RV rental groups. There's other RV rental groups out there on Facebook that you can get your information out there. We put, we used to put our website out there quite a bit and people would see it and they'd, they'd ask questions and or they'd go, oh, I didn't realize you guys were here. And then they'd want to rent from us. In the beginning, our YouTube channel that had a lot of videos of our walkthroughs of our units would help when we would talk about not just our units, but our RV rental business. And we would put that out there on Facebook. I'd put it on my normal uh, personal page. I put it out there on the uh, business page that we created for it. And it would get really get our name out there. I had a lot of people that were reaching out to us. And there's certain things that you could, can do that are real inexpensive. You know, you could put a Facebook ad out there, spend probably 20 bucks a month, and really get your get your information out there and then target it towards people that are in your area so that they can look at your website and if they want to rent a uh, unit they can I think one of the main things that we did that really helped our business kind of take off was we did a Google Ads and I'll show you here what this looks like all right so real quick as you can see here these are some of the analytics and stats you know all the impressions I get how many clicks I get people looking to show intent to visit and actually, you know, when they're calling from the website, it shows how many calls I've got. So as you go down here, I've got some keywords and certain search terms that I had already set up. And it shows that how many people are clicking on them. Here's kind of an, a, a visual of what it would look like on a mobile, like a landing page. So there's our website. There's um, kind of our catchphrase. All that information is there and then it definitely what we did is we kind of covered the central uh, eastern Washington area into Idaho and even in the southern Oregon because a lot of we get a lot of folks from those areas but you can set a budget here on what you want to do for us we we're pretty aggressive during the off season uh, we don't mind spending the money because we know it's going to pay off in the it's going to pay off for next year and we've already got multiple multiple weekends already booked out with 10 plus units so that money is already coming back to us and then some so as you can see for us last year Google Ads was it was a huge deal for us the other thing that we we're able to do also that really helped us was some YouTube ads when we first got our YouTube channel set up we put the video that we had on our landing page on our YouTube channel as an introduction to who LR Valdez Reynolds is and we put that out there and it was a quick you know two minute video but it was good because we had our link in the description people went to our website and some of them you know we got some bookings and the YouTube ad wasn't really that expensive all right so those are the top three things you want to do after you get those initial things set up okay now for the bonus tip so for us one of the ways that we we're able to double and triple our income was co-assignments I made a whole video that talks about how to quadruple your profitability and your income in your RV rental business check it out right here all right thanks for watching I really hope this video helped you out today it was a quick one I wanted to make a quick one as a follow-up to that first video and like I said if you hadn't had a chance to take a look at that check it out the other thing too is I we make RV rental business content so if that's you if you got a small you know RV rental business if you got one to two units you definitely want to consider subscribing as we've made tons and tons of content on RV rental business if you like this video give it a thumbs up thanks for watching as always happy camping